life is difficult but seeking the divine makes it worthwhile for us the whole world knows spiritual thinker and materialist alike that the world for the created or naturally evolved being in the ignorance or the inconscience of nature is neither a bed of roses nor a path of joyous light it is a difficult journey a battle and struggle an often painful and checkered road a life besieged by obscurity falsehood and suffering it has its mental vital physical joys and pleasures but this bring only a transient taste which yet the vital self is unwilling to forego and they end in distaste fatigue or disillusionment what then to say the divine does not exist is easy but it leads no way it leaves you where you are with no prospect or issue neither russell nor any materialist can tell you where you are going or even where you ought to go the divine does not manifest himself so as to be recognized in the external world circumstances admittedly so these are not the works of any responsible autocrat somewhere they are the circumstances of a working out of forces according to a certain nature of being one might say a certain proposition or problem of being into which we have all really consented to enter and cooperate the work is painful dubious its vicissitudes impossible to focus there are either of two possibilities then to get out of it into nirvana by the buddhist or the illusionist way or to get inside oneself and find the divine there since he is not discoverable on the surface for those who have made the attempt and there were not a few but hundreds and thousands have testified through the ages that he is there and that is why there exists the yoga it takes long but if the divine has any value is it not worth some trouble and time and labor to follow after him and must we insist on having him without any training or sacrifice or suffering or trouble